I'm Georgia from Book Dealer, and I'm going to let you know what I think of Notes on a Nervous Planet by Matt Haig. Haig? By Matt. <laughs> uh, I'm not here to waste your time. I think it's a solid book. I think it would be a great book for people who have mental health concerns, uh, social media addicts, uh, anyone that's supporting people with mental health concerns, but I do think there should be a trigger warning on it because it does talk about mental health concerns as well as suicidal ideations. So there's uh, your warning, your trigger warning now. Uh, if, you're, if you're not ready to deal with that kind of stuff, please do not read the book and please do not watch the rest of this video. I liked this book. I liked the tone of it. It reminded me of like reading someone's diary and just seeing how their mood has shifted and changed over each day or each uh, entry, I guess. No one ever does their diary every day. It's usually like three days straight and then like two months later being like, sorry. It's usually how it goes. <laughs> um, but it just, it felt like his honesty and his genuineness um, would just carry throughout the book, even though they all felt like individual entries. And to sum up the book for me, uh, I think it reminded me that there's more to life than worry, fear, and stress. It reminded me that although uh, fleeting moments may be shitty, they are just that, fleeting moments. And on that, I love when people swear in books because I'm naturally quite a swearer. So when people swear in books, it like, I just light up somehow. <laughs> the concept of external factors being able to control our inner thoughts and in turn then our behaviours is a concept that I think needs to be remembered multiple times throughout the day. And I think this book does it really well to talk about that. Social media and technology can be positive, but can also be a burden. And this book reminds you to try to be mindful of that. One of my favorite quotes from this book is, everything we need is here. If we give up thinking, we need everything. I think that's a really fantastic quote. As if we all need more reasons to pick up a book, but in this book, Matt has an ode to social media and I really like it, so I'm gonna read it to you. When anger trolls the internet, looking for a hook, it's time to disconnect and go and read a book. <laughs> so simple, <laughs> but so good. <laughs> the last quote that I want to share with you is, enjoy the internet. Don't use it when you aren't enjoying it. Nothing has sounded so easy and been so hard. And I think that is so true. I think that once we stop enjoying it, that's really when we need to be logging off, but it's usually when we're not. We usually just keep going further and further. And this book really tries to make sure that we're thinking and being mindful about our social media use as well as our internet use, because we know that sometimes, uh, although they can be a happy place, they can become quite an unhappy place, especially if you're going from the news to Twitter, to Facebook, to Instagram, comparing yourself and then going back and just keep going around. Matt touches on that the fact that he, over the years, he's been getting more virtual friends than in real life friends, and um, that he's doing a lot to try to rectify that. And I think that's super valid. Uh, a lot of people are connecting more online, but a lot less in person. And I think there's a place for both. And I think we need to be mindful of both of those. Because for me, someone who has anxiety, reading a book where someone's talking about his anxiety makes me feel a little less alone. When I started to think that maybe I've got ADHD and having ADHD and anxiety together, I went straight to the internet and I found people. I found people who were having the same concerns that I were or similar and it made me feel a hell of a lot less alone, similar to when I was reading this. And some of those panic attack moments that they would, he was talking about reminded me that, yeah, other people have panic attacks too because in the moment and sometimes not in the moment, you feel like you're the weird one. So although I do agree with his point about making sure that you do connect with people in real life and your friends in real life, I think there is also a place for virtual friends too. But in saying that, um, both Matt and myself have been caught in the trap of not leaving your house. So if you're one of these people who are using virtual friends as an excuse to not leave your house, please make sure that you are seeking professional help because um, I've been there and it's not a great place. Overall, I think this book is fantastic. I think it really would be a good book to go back to, especially if you're having some downtime because there are some great lists in there that talk about some of the things that you could do, but also um, 
go through some of the th things that are just really shitty. Sometimes it's really nice to have someone to identify them with and talk about the shittiness of the world. Um, but as long as you come back out of that, highly recommend this book. I think it's fantastic. It's for sale on our website at the moment as I'm recording this. And a little bonus, it's been signed by Matt Hike. So that's pretty cool. <laughs> uh, yeah. So I look forward to reading with you. Bye for now.